All right, so let's continue with the uh, finance of the room. This is Sparkman or Sparkella. Yeah, because of the avatar. All right, so, all right, so let's open GDevelop and uh, let's create a new project. We're going to start this from scratch. Let's just call it, uh, and let's create the empty project. Let's add a new scene. Let me go to game settings here and uh, 800 by 4 or 5. Okay, apply that. Alright, so here is our scene and um, let's bring in our image. Okay, actually we have to save it first. GDevelop projects and that will be 6 nice at JSON. And this will be our background. Let's create a new object. Sprite, call it uh, background, add animation, here is our background, place it here. Now if you have, now if you have trouble placing this, all you have to do is uh, have to come over here, and set this uh, to 0 and 0. Now, since we are not going to move this anymore, we can actually lock it. I believe there is a button to lock this here somewhere. Uh, lock position. Okay, so now you can't touch it. So we are going to bring in um, another object. Let's call this a cam. Or short for camera, obviously. And... Uh, let me create an object here. Paint it whatever color, it doesn't really matter. I don't like green. Well, I like green, but not that green. And this one isn't any better, but I don't care. Okay. Like, who cares about color? Alright, let's see. Um, let me just give these uh, eyes just because we can and happy okay bring this to the um, into the screen now we're not this is going to be this is going to be invisible so you're not going to be able to see this so it doesn't really matter let's make this a um, an a direction object top down object disable diagonals and rotation okay let's see and run the game and that works fine so what we want to do is uh, we want to go to events and I guess we can make the camera follow that object I'm gonna go to cameras and what's cameras? cameras? Cameras and layers. We're going to center uh, the camera based on the exposition of that object. Equals the exposition of the object we just created, which is cam. Okay, everything else you can leave as default, that's fine. And now that will follow our object. Okay. Now, if you want to have the camera set with the with the keyboard, this is fine. Okay. Um, but we want to use it with the uh, with the with the mouse. Okay. So we are going to do other stuff to make that work. So let me create a text object here. made the text uh, super big and I'm gonna make this uh, I guess what color I like let me see something cool uh, I'm making everything green tonight for some reason okay and place that here you can barely see that let me just make that white or yellow something that will stand out And uh, yeah, <coughs> so I want to create a variable. 
And uh, let's call this, uh, what can we call this variable? Let's call, call it db. Set that to zero. Zero. And um, we can set that variable equals, um, we can set the text equals that variable. Text object. And we're gonna set that equals that variable. in variable bb okay so now when we run the game that should run zero or nothing okay it's gonna make me a liar okay we got string variable there that should be just variable let me change that that should be Let me see, did we set that to zero? Maybe set to zero, okay. Place that here. And it's set to zero, okay. Uh, let me place that in a different layer. Call this uh, GUI. And we're going to place that in that layer. Okay, place that there. So that's going to scroll with our camera. So now we want to um, set uh, that variable equals the exposition of the object. So variable bb equals the exposition of the object we created the green object exposition of cam so now that's going to um, read the position of the um, green object now let me just turn around and uh, click on this here edit object behaviors and all right let me see so uh around here okay say four 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 ten okay so basically, let's go to events, and um, so this is only, we, so we want this to work only if um, the position of the object is in certain area, okay? So, um, position, x position of the object cam uh, is greater than for Okay, so that works fine, and now it doesn't work. Okay, over here, that should be around here. Uh, we want to isolate these other uh, actions. This is only for the. Um, uh, this is only for the cam. So let me just take these two out. Paste them here. Okay, so that's fine there. Uh, we can do the opposite for this. Let me just find out the um, the number. We'll be around there, so it'll be like eleven twenty six. So it'll be uh, less than eleven twenty six. Okay. 
All right. Try it out. Oops. I have to do this backwards. <laughs> paste this here. Uh, what we want is the camera. Okay, let me just uh, paste that over here and delete that there. Okay. Okay, that works fine. Now that one there we need to fix. Make a copy of this one and paste it. Actually, all right. <coughs> Let me add an N here. N. And we're going to cut this action here. And paste it. Okay, that one works. And that one works. Okay. So either or of these conditions. Uh, so now we want the the mouse to follow uh, this this uh, this object. Okay. So let me create a new condition here. And we're gonna go to the mouse in keyword. We're gonna go to the X position of the mouse. X position, choose the operator, it's gonna be um, the mouse, X position less than the X position of our object. Oops, position, X position of the cam object. Okay, leave that there like that. So if this happens, um, we want to um, top down object controllers simulate pressing left for the cam okay that works fine now this shouldn't go past this okay so we can actually introduce uh, just copy this here and paste it so these two conditions have to be true in order for this to happen so that's going to start there now we simply copy this action here and we reverse it we want to press the simulate press it right and we basically can just copy this here delete this paste it okay and that should work fine okay actually it won't <laughs> because uh the exposition okay so the exposition has to be greater than the exposition of the green the green object which is the cam there we go go to the other side so that could be one way okay uh, let me create two big objects here. Two new sprites. And this is going to be called left. And again, we're just going to paint this whatever color. Any color will do it. Just look at the green knight. And 
this will be left save it bring this here place it here and uh, we're gonna make sure this is in the uh, GUI layer okay I'm going to put it in another one the sprite it's gonna be about right add animation oops actually I can just probably copy that edit in pistol and simply flip it place that under the uh, GUI um, layer okay a little more I think it's around there there we go so, um, now for this to work, we want our mouse pointer to be on top of the uh, left object. So let's go to um, mouse and keyboard. And this has to be touching that object. Okay. Same for the other one, but let me just test that one now. So now it doesn't work. I have to actually touch this object here. And we want to do the same thing for the right one. Copy, paste, oops. Copy this, paste it. Let me change the object for right. The right object. There is our right um, object, left object. Okay. So at the beginning of the um, of the game, be like the um, the beginning of the scene. We want to hide those objects. Visibility, hide left. And let me just copy this, paste it. And uh, this is going to be right. We also want to hide our. Um, cam object okay and uh, we can also hide we can also hide the text There we go. Okay. And there we go. So that works fine. So you can um, pan the camera back and forth. Super easy. Uh, you can automate these two um, to make it look like it's some sort of security camera. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to create a noise effect uh, for your cameras in, um, in GDevelop. Alright, thanks for watching guys. See you in the next video. Bye now.